Hey class, so our first essay is going to be a rhetorical analysis essay. What this entails is you are going to need to choose one reading from week one or two from our textbook that we reviewed. Um, you should review our syllabus if you're kind of unsure what those readings were. Um, and then you are going to be analyzing that argument, right? Was it effective? Was it ineffective? What sort of rhetorical strategies did that author use to... Um, you know, entice their audience. Um, so the overview. So for this first essay, you will write a 1,300 to 1,500 words rhetorical analysis of one essay. All right. So review those options. Um, you will be analyzing several aspects of the text's main arguments, right, to evaluate if it was effective in convincing whatever audience um, they were addressing. You have to deem who the audience was. Read the text, look at the words they're choosing, look at the way they approach their topic. How do you know what, um, how do you know who their audience is? So for this assignment, this is really important. You are focusing on the article's rhetorical strategies and not your own personal opinion on the subject. So let's say we were writing about freedom of speech, right? You're not going on a side tangent saying freedom of speech um, should include all things or freedom of speech is sometimes problematic because where do we draw the line, right? We're not, you're not doing that. You're focusing on whatever that article was arguing and whether they convinced their audience or not, right? Um, so specifics. In your introduction, you will need to introduce a very brief constructive summary of what the text overall was talking about, right? Keep it brief. Um, in your thesis statement, you should reflect a fair evaluation of the text's effectiveness and let readers know what you intend to argue or prove, right? Was it an effective essay? Was it an ineffective essay um, or argument? In your body paragraphs, you will provide well-supported analysis of the main argument and the rhetorical strategies the author used to convey it. Your essay must provide strong supporting evidence. And to sort of help you figure out what you need to address, I give you these five core questions to consider, right? And to probably include in your essay. So for one, what is the major claim of the argument, right? So what are they hoping to convince people of? And this is kind of what their thesis is, right? You might want to include this in your intro since you're giving a basic summary of what the overall argument is. So two, what audience does the argument address? What audience does it ignore? This is worth having a whole paragraph on, right? Really figuring out who they are addressing, who are they talking to, who are they writing for. Um, three, which rhetorical appeals does the argument um, make use of to influence its readers? Does it lean into pathos and emotions, right? Does it use a lot of facts and statistics or logos? Does it, um, you know, provide a lot of credibility? Maybe it's a doctor and so we really trust them as a person. Um, how do they bring their reader in, right? Maybe their style is very colloquial or informal, right? Um, and so that would inform who they're writing for. Maybe it's very formal and not informal at all, right? What are they using for their words, their tone, right? All of that. Um, so think about that and think about who their audience is, right? Is it clearly convincing that audience? Is it doing a good job? What kind of evidence does the author use to prove his or her claim, right? That does lean into logos and all of that or logical progression and all that. But it also, um, you could talk about like what types of sources they're using. Um, are they, you know, giving clear evidence or are they generalizing? Um, are they maybe sufficient in some ways or lacking in other ways, right? Maybe they are able to convince some people, it's partially effective, but some um, of their arguments miss the mark, right? It doesn't have to be all or nothing, but you need to make sure that that's very clear in your thesis if it's kind of hitting the mark in some ways, but failing in other ways, or maybe almost there, but not quite there. Um, so make sure you're kind of keeping note of that so that you include it all. And then five, what assumptions does the author make regarding the subject matter? Um, are their assumptions justified? Do they assume that the audience already understands basic goals about this topic? Do they, and just so they don't explain everything, right? That would maybe be something to think about. Do they over explain? Maybe that's because of who their audience is, right? Is it justified? Is it not justified? Explain. Um, 
basic requirements. You need to craft an enticing and relevant title, so don't give me essay one. Um, have a clear, well-developed, thought-provoking thesis that's maintained and consistently supported. So whatever you decide about the effectiveness of the essay, the entire, your entire essay needs to come back to that and support that, okay? Ensure that your body paragraphs provide strong answers and analysis to all the questions. They don't each need to be a paragraph of their own, but you do need to kind of touch on all of these. And it's really important that you do because ultimately if you touch on these, you'll avoid going off into summary because we don't only want to summarize the article. The article said this and then it says this and it's like, yes, but was that effectively influencing its audience, right? That's why you're always circling back to that question. Um, and then you also don't want to go on a side tangent. Freedom of speech is uh, a right and we should just always have it, right? Like you don't want to side tangent it like that. You want to always come back to like, well, is this author convincing their audience and who is that audience, right? Right in an appropriate college level tone, third person means we cannot have I, me, you, your, mine, anything like that in this essay, okay? Whenever you want to write I think, just cross out the I think at the beginning, right? Because if I said I think potatoes are the best, if I just said potatoes are the best, right, it comes off a lot stronger. If it's I think, well, okay, I get it. It's your paper. I know that you think this, right? Um, no colloquial language, meaning no slang, um, but also no sort of overly informal language, right? You don't ever want to say this um, material makes the reader feel some type of way. Well, what is that type of way, right? We say these things verbally a lot, but you want to make sure that you're explaining everything really specifically and not just um, oversimplifying or using slang like wanna, gonna, coulda, shoulda, woulda either um, in your essay. Supply evidence, direct quotes from your uh, essay that you're referring to. Clearly introduce all of the quotes. You want to make sure you're integrating your quotes. If you're unfamiliar with this or you forgot how to do it, make sure you're reviewing all our support materials in our modules so that you are integrating your quotes. I don't want to just see a whole sentence dropped in, right? I want to see according to blah, 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 right? And then give me a quote or Smith says and then give me the quote. It doesn't take a lot, but you do need to integrate it. Write with clarity and precision, demonstrating a mastery of standard English grammar, punctuation, and mechanics. My biggest tip here is read your writing out loud and do it slowly, honoring where you place your punctuation. Because if you're really listening to where you're placing your punctuation, you'll probably catch more of your errors. Uh, attach a works cited page. Your works cited is only going to include your single source that you're referring to, right? You are not going to bring in outside sources for this first essay. We are just analyzing that text really deeply, okay? And then you're going to submit your paper via Canvas. Um, the essay needs to be 1,300 to 1,500 words. Um, if you are struggling to reach a word count, you can always reach out to me uh, or you can, for extra credit, um, utilize our net tutor feature, which is um, on the left-hand menu bar in Canvas, in our Canvas course, or you could go to our learning center. Um, any of those, you know, can sort of help so that you can help uh, someone else can point you into like how you can expand on your essay, okay? If you have any questions or concerns, do not hesitate to reach out to me. I am available by email or Canvas inbox, um, and I respond usually pretty quickly. So just make sure that you're thinking about this sooner rather than later and start asking those questions now, okay? Uh, yeah, I look forward to reading them.